So uh, here at Food Genius, um, we track restaurants and their menus. We track the menu at about half of all restaurant locations around the country. So every item, how it's named, described, and priced. And then use that to provide insight to uh, manufacturers, distributors, and restaurant operators. Really what we want to understand is kind of how does the language that restaurants use to talk about food kind of touch consumers and affect how they make decisions. There's two things that consumers will see in kind of a, a world of restaurants that is, is governed by data. Um, one of those things is a very different approach to pricing. So I think today you primarily see what we would call kind of value or promotional pricing or cost plus pricing. So kind of either offer a really great deal to get someone in the front door or take food, have it be about 30% of the cost of the item and then let's price it from there. We think on the other hand, there should be kind of a market or attribute based approach to pricing. I think the way that it's gonna be presented to the consumer is not gonna be necessarily what we expect. So Taco Bell is probably the furthest out there on this where they have this brand new app. They're driving everyone to order through this app right now. And in the most recent earnings call, they shared that the incremental price for add-ons to items is different place to place inside the app. So what's 25 cents to add onions at restaurant A is 20 cents to add onions at restaurant B. Really interesting approach. So I think some of it is going to be disguised from the consumer by kind of the way that we're interacting with it through technology. On the other hand, what I do think people are starting to think about is using promotional offers to be kind of that lever of dynamic pricing. So maybe the menu price is fixed at the peak price for the course of the day, um, but as consumers are interacting with those restaurants more through technology, they'll use kind of promotional offers to reduce that price at off-peak times or to drive demand to products that aren't seeing as much consumption. As, as fascinated as we are by kind of data in food, there are two inherent components of food, creativity and variability. And so I think that if we can help restaurant operators better understand how to kind of navigate the world of creativity and variability, it's going to lead to more delicious things for consumers.